What is up, legends? Today, I'm starting a new video format in this channel. It will be a type of vlog series, a training diary, where I'm going to be documenting all my process to learn a specific skill. You know, I decided to create this vlog series to keep myself accountable. I'm soon reaching 40 years old, and I've been noticing that it's becoming harder and harder to build strength. So I want this series to one, to make myself accountable, to make sure that I'm following the processes that I'm going to outline here, and also maybe to motivate some of you guys. Maybe you are in a similar situation like I am, but you also want to be able to increase your strength, become healthier, maybe unlock some calisthenic skills. So maybe by looking at my videos here and the process that I'm going to outline, it will also help you in your own journey. First, why do I want to learn the muscle up? What are the benefits of learning the muscle up? To me, the muscle up is a fairly complicated movement. It requires skill, it requires explosive power, strength, mobility, and positional awareness. One of my biggest struggles when learning a new skill work is body awareness. So I already know that in, in the muscle up, it will be quite of a struggle in that, in that front. And secondly, one of the reasons why I want to learn the muscle up is because it requires a lot of explosive power. If you'll be following this channel, you have seen me talk about explosive power quite a bit, especially in terms of conditioning your tendons and ligaments. I have not spent a lot of time training explosive power from a pull-up perspective. So I know that, I, again, I'm gonna struggle when learning the muscle up. So yeah, this is something that I'm gonna have to be working on for a few weeks and probably months really to really be able to achieve a strict muscle lap. Now, talking about a strict muscle lap, my goal right now for this first phase is to learn five muscle laps, but doing those keeping. For now, I'm gonna be okay with doing the keeping. I, of course, I really want to learn the muscle lap, a strict muscle lap, that, that clean that uh, we, we see all the time in YouTube. Now let's go to the bar because I actually wanna go and take a baseline. I wanna see where I am right now with my muscle lap. I just wanna see in video how bad it looks like. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not surprised at all. First, I don't have the explosive power to bring the bar below my chest. My bar is pretty much around here. I need to bring the bar at least below the chest level. If I can do it even lower than that, it's gonna be even easier to do the transition. So first, I need to be working on explosive power, bringing the bar down here. And of course, the transition as well, the transition from the bar here into the, into the dip is something that I have no experience with, of course, and I really, my body doesn't really know how to do that transition, so it's something that I'm gonna have to work on. So in terms of training, I have laid out a very simple uh, training that I, I plan to be doing twice a week. So first I will start with a warm-up of three rounds, eight hollow snaps, eight arch snaps, and eight keep levers. The warm-up is all about the keeping that I, I told you guys about. Then we move to the, to the skill work, which will be a 12 minutes every minute on, on the minute, starting with the four reps of clapping kips to really work on explosive power. Then moving on to three reps of jumping bar muscle ups that will help me working out the positional awareness uh, of the transition from pull up to dip. Then we follow to three reps of seated pull ups to really help me build more pull up strength then following to a two reps of banded bar muscle laps. But I will start, of course, using my heaviest band um, and then, of course, progressing to, uh, to, the, to my lightest band as I get stronger. So that's it. That's my program for the muscle lap. I may be changing this program a little bit in the next weeks or maybe months, depending on whatever else I find that I need work. And be sure to follow me on Instagram if you want to see more frequent updates on what I'm doing in, in this muscle up training. If you have any tips to give me, um, anything that you think that I, I should be doing really to be able to achieve the muscle up uh, quicker, let me know. Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.